So today we're going to be reading a story from right at the end of the Bible from the book of Revelation. And if you've got your storybook Bible, you could read along with me today. So you might want to get it out. Now this is a real story about Jesus told by his friend John, who knew that Jesus had saved him and planned an amazing future for him in heaven. And the amazing thing also about this story is it's not just John's future, it's our story as well, so it's our future. Let's read it. John was one of Jesus' helpers. He was old now and living on an island, which might sound nice, except it was a prison. The leaders put him there to stop him from talking about Jesus. One morning, Jesus appeared right there in John's cell. Jesus' eyes were bright, shining like the sun. I'm going to show you a secret, John, Jesus said, about when I come back. His voice was like the sound of rushing waters. Write down what you see so God's children can read it and wait with happy excitement. Then Jesus gave John a beautiful dream, except John was wide awake and he saw what he saw was real and one day it would all come true. I see a throne and on the throne is a king and Jesus is king. All around the throne, people are bowing down. They are giving him their treasures. There are loud cheers and clapping and clapping, bright laughter and like a thousand waterfalls and everyone bursts out singing a new song. This is our king, the lamb who died, so we don't ever have to, our rescuer, all honour and glory forever and ever. And every creature everywhere in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea joins in. And then from all around a wide, immense, beautiful silence. And I see Satan, God's horrible enemy, thrown down, defeated. I see a sparkling shimmering in the sky, glittering, glowing, coming down from heaven and from the sky. Heaven is coming down to earth. God's city is beautiful, walls of topaz, jasper, sapphire, wide streets paved with gold, gleaming pearl gates that are never locked shut. Where is the sun? Where is the moon? They aren't needed anymore. God is all the light the people need. No more darkness, no more night. And the king says, look, God and his children are together again. No more running away or hiding, no more crying or being lonely or afraid. No more being sick or dying because all those things are gone. Yes, they're gone forever. Everything sad has come untrue. And see, I have wiped away every tear from every eye. And then a deep, beautiful voice that sounded like thunder in the sky says, Look, I am making everything new. It was hard to squeeze all that John saw into words and fit it into one page and cram it into a book. All the words on all the pages of all the books in all the world would never be enough. I am the beginning, Jesus said, and the ending. One day, John knew, heaven would come down and mend God's broken world and make it our true, perfect home once again. And he knew, in some mysterious way, that would be hard to explain, that everything was going to be more wonderful for once, having been so sad. And he knew that the ending of the story was going to be so great, it would make all the sadness and tears and everything seem just like a shadow that is chased away by the morning sun. I'm on my way, said Jesus. I'll be there soon. John came to the end of his book. But he didn't write the end, because of course, that's how stories finish. And this was one's not over yet. So instead, he wrote, come quickly, Jesus. Which perhaps is just another way of saying to be continued. I think that's pretty wonderful, don't you? What Jesus has planned for us. So maybe we should pray. Hello, God. Thank you for the wonderful gift of our life, our future home, which you offer freely to anyone who says yes to Jesus and believes in what he says and did. Amen.